if you want me to do another problem tell me you know what utility functions you want i can just do one more exercise and then uh we can continue okay you want lexiographic preference uh okay so you want both romeo and juliet to have lexiographic preference or you want romeo to have lexiographic preference and uh or you want some other characters you know if you're bored with romeo juliet we can have you know instead of uh romeo juliet we can have brother and sister or you can choose some other tom and jerry okay fine so let's let's uh let's have tom and jerry okay so they'll be fighting right so that's the kind of preference we want okay so so chocolate i don't think tom and jerry eat chocolate so can you suggest me some good that tom and jerry eats we can just have a fight over that okay cheese okay fine let's have cheese okay so so we have tom and we have jerry okay and uh, ct cj okay and then we have ct cj okay okay so uh so you said lexographic so obviously you know you know what you can do is maybe you can just think of uh you know because lexographic preference so we don't have a utility representation we can say that uh, you know uh tom lexicographically prefers consuming cheese himself compared to jerry consuming cheese is that okay fine so we have cheese and we have tom and jerry okay so tom lexicographically prefers consuming uh cheese or jerry's consumption of cheese okay uh, so i mean even though this doesn't perfectly represent a fight okay uh, you know because if you really think about it uh, you know tom also feel better off you know when jerry consumes consumes more of cheese right i mean because even though he lexicographically prefers consuming cheese uh himself over jerry's consumption of cheese uh, but still you know uh, if you really think about lexicographic preference uh, uh so if you increase so if you hold constant the tom's consumption of cheese and you increase the consumption of cheese of jerry then he'll be uh you know he'll be better off so if you really think about it, it doesn't perfectly represent the fight but that's okay you know you said that you know let's use this preference so we'll use this preference uh what about uh jerry you know what what kind of uh, preference do you want me to use for jerry same okay so jerry uh lexicographically prefers uh consuming uh cheese uh himself over uh tom's consumption of cheese okay okay so so uh let's say we have the same set of feasible allocations okay let's say there are five units of cheese perfectly divisible so f is uh c t c j in r2 plus such that c t plus c j is five okay uh, again, you know, we want to figure out set of all efficient allocations. Now, if you really think about this problem, I mean, you don't even you don't even have to draw this. Okay, it's it's something which is absolutely clear that all allocations are period efficient. Okay. Uh, I mean, of course, we cannot draw the utility function because there is no utility representation. Okay but you know it's very easy to figure out that all allocations are period efficient okay so let's say this is the origin of tom this is the origin of jerry okay and let's let's consider this allocation okay uh, so if you if you consider this allocation you know uh, uh, where uh, tom is consuming this much amount of uh, cheese and jerry is consuming this much amount of cheese uh, 
so if you see uh, you know if you want to make uh, tom better off the only way you can make tom better off is to give him more cheese because you know uh, because he lexicographically prefer prefers consuming cheese over jerry's consumption of cheese so if you if you move uh, uh, in this direction uh, to any allocation you will make uh, tom better off but then that will end up making jerry worse off because jerry lexicographically prefer prefers his own consumption of cheese over tom's consumption of cheese so you know uh, so uh, moving in this direction uh, will reduce the consumption of cheese consumed by jerry uh, so uh, so in order to make tom better off you have to make jerry worse off okay and if you move in this direction you know uh, uh, tom will be worse off and jerry will be better off so if you want to make jerry better off you'll have to you'll have to make tom worse off uh, so basically there is there is no way in which you can improve the satisfaction level of one without reducing the satisfaction level of the other so this allocation which i have just chosen arbitrarily is is pareto efficient and not just this but all these allocations are pareto efficient because of the same reason is that clear to everyone so this is actually uh, straightforward so set of all feasible allocations is a set of all pareto efficient allocations